What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Bookish Dirty Girl, coming at you with another video. Today, I'm going to be reacting to a um, Has Been Hotel, One Hell of a Team, original song by uh, Emma Lee and Divide Music. I really hope I pronounced that right. I apologize if I didn't. So, yeah, let me just pull that up and play. Let's see what it is. Ooh. I already love the animation style for it. I already love it. Ooh, it's Alistair and Charlie. Charles Star Shippers are gonna be happy. Now you could trust me. I see potential in your future. We can now be. Ooh, and this is very much to his character too. I like this. They did a really good job with this. Yeah. Yeah, that's bullshit. We all know that. Charlie, yeah. Ooh. I mean, this is mad true. Like, Alistair could easily fuck her over. Ooh, that beat drop, though. Yeah, he is. Ooh. So she's agreeing that they would make it one hell of a team. But, like, she doesn't trust him, which she shouldn't. Original sound. Song inspired by Hasman Hotel, one hell of a team. Cool. I mean, this is fire. I mean, he does have a twisted sense of morals. Like, Vivi Pop has said that. Ooh. Oh my god, this is so fire. This is totally Charlie too, like I love this. See like this is pretty interesting to Alistair's character, but like cause he wants to see people fail, but I don't think he's necessarily gonna like, I don't think he would ever try to manipulate Charlie that much to the point where he change her cause he does genuinely like her. Like, she sees the potential in him, but he also sees the potential in her. So this is interesting. Like, they both have a very, like, same sensitive, like, yeah, sensitive sense of, um, humor, Vipsy Pop said, but... I don't know, like, oh, that was fire. Subscribe to her, seriously, she's really good. Subscribe to her, like, oh my god, like, I'm subscribing to her. That's That was fire, that was a very well done video. It shows perfect characterization of Charlie as well as Alistair, like, and what they could progress to be in the TV show. We know it's there's no romantic uh, sense between Charlie and Alistair because Charlie's with Maggie and Alistair, I believe, is asexual, according to what Vivzy Pop said. Um, and I think he's an aromantic asexual, which means he doesn't really want relationships or anything. So I doubt, like, it'll they'll connect on, like, a romantic sense. Um, 
But I think on a business sense and on a personal level, they are definitely going to connect because like Vivzy Pop and just from what I've read in the comic of the Radio Demon from her website, um, it seems like he does have a sense of morality. It's just very twisted. It's like it, like it doesn't make sense. Like he seems like one of those people like, well, yeah, I'm a murderer, but I only kill the bad people. Or I only kill people that I consider to be really, really bad. Kind of like a Dexter in that instance. Um, but I definitely can't wait to see where the show goes. And like I said, that song was fire. That beat drop was like that. That was well done. And then the animations along with the lyrics. Like it was just very well done. Like hands like for real. It was well done. And I know how much time that must have taken to get the, you know, to get the audio and the vocals and then get the animation done and, you know, edit it all together and how many takes that probably took just to get the vocals correct. And like, seriously, bravo, uh, Amelie or a Amelie. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> But seriously, good job on that. You guys definitely rocked that song. It fits has been very well. Like, I kind of hope Vivzy Pop sees it in, like, a 24 production sees it. And they're just like, we want to use that in, like, our on the show. Like, because I would love to see that be used on the show. Because that was just really, really good. Um, what do you guys think? Do you think that Alistair is going to try to turn Charlie into something evil like she's not? Um, do you think he is just going to be Alistair and just, you know see the residents of the hotel you know stumbling and falling try to get them to make a deal like because that's personally where I see it going I see him just kind of using the hotel as a way for him to make new contracts and make new, new deals with people um I don't really know what it's it's supposed to be other than that and I guess Angel Dust is gonna have a boyfriend from what Vivzy Pop says so I'm super psyched to see who that is. I know a lot of people ship Radio Dust as well. Alistair and, you know, Angel Dust. But I don't know. I can't wait to see where the show goes. Like I said, my two favorite characters are probably Angel Dust and Alistair. Just because they're very complicated characters. They're very conflicting characters. Like, Alistair seems like he has it all together. But he has, like, again, they, he's got that twisted sense of morality. So that's... That's going to be, like, really interesting to see develop into something. But, yeah, I've talked long enough. You guys have seen this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. This has been your girl, Bookish Nerdy Girl. Peace out.